What's up, GQ? This is Zach Levine. As you see, these are my 10 essentials. First off, King C. Gillette Style Master Trimmer. When you're on the road a lot in the NBA, you don't always get to have the perfect haircut, so you know, always try to look you know, fresh for the court, pictures wherever you're going. My wife always tells me to trim my beard, so keep this on me. I don't do a lot of different hairstyles. I either keep it low or I, or I try to have some curls, but definitely make sure my beard is edged up. My next item, my cars, specifically, my old school cars, I love to collect them. It's my 65 Mustang. I got a 68 Pontiac as well. 67 Chevelle, all red. So they're my babies, man. That's a passion of mine. My dad bought me my first one a couple years ago. So my 68 Pontiac's always gonna stay with me. These guys can, you know, continue to get upgraded and I can add more to the collection. I think the next one I'm gonna get is a, uh, a Grand National. See, I'm from I'm from Seattle, so the car culture out there, you do get to see some old schools, some low riders, or, you know, some different old school cars, you know, growing up watching Snoop Dogg and stuff like that, seeing Easy e Ice Cube go through all the different cars definitely was a, a influence on me. Next essential item is Domino's. Grew up playing them, but especially lately, anywhere I go, pretty much, I'm, I'm ready to play some Bones. I was just actually playing some with Draymond at All-Star break, and he got me one game, I got him, so you know, hopefully his tiebreaker comes out, but it's a lot of fun. I'm extremely competitive. You know, I pretty much challenge anybody. I'm not doing something I'm gonna beat you every time, but I'm a damn good player, so we'll see what happens. Originally, my dad taught me, but then, you know, obviously, as I got older, I started playing with my friends and family. He did rivalry with would probably be my wife. She'd be me multiple times but uh you know in the league probably not a heated rivalry um you know Dre's one of the better players I heard Jimmy's pretty good at uh at Domino's too so you know maybe when we take a trip to Miami I can you know get a nice game in so for me probably the biggest essential in my life is my family I've got pictures of my father me and him at all-star me and my wife you know, my friends, my mom. I think that's the biggest thing for me is I'm, I'm a family person, very family oriented, and uh, don't go anywhere without them. My family's very athletic uh, background. My father played professional football uh, in the USFL, played for the Seahawks. My mom is extremely athletic, grew up running track and playing softball. My sister runs track. My wife, division one soccer. So definitely a family of, uh, of athletes and, you know, it, it carries over. I'm a basketball player, obviously. I love basketball, but I think I'm addicted to golf. So right now, this is a definite essential. I try to find any excuse to go out and play. You know, sometimes I'm rushing through my workouts to go play. So I think it, it's a, uh, it's definitely not a hobby, it's an addiction. Started playing a couple years ago. Being an athletic person and, you know, growing up playing multiple sports and being pretty damn good at all of them. You know, golf is, you can't out-athletic it. You have to hit the ball the right way. You have to learn the right technique and have some sort of, you know, real good touch around the greens, putting, you know, chipping, all that stuff. It's fun, man, it's challenging. I think that's why I really like it. And, you know, I want to get good at it. I've got good in a couple years. I, I break 100 pretty consistently, but I want to, I want to get to, you know, that elite status. Some of my favorite golf courses, just got done playing Riviera, Pelican Hill. I have played in Silverleaf, TPC, a bunch of places. Hopefully I can continue to go out there and mess up their grass until I get good. <laughs> See, I could play like 36 holes, man. Like I, I'm really addicted to it. Turn right, like turn right back around to do it again. Next essential, cards, any type of card game. If it isn't Blu-ray that we play in the NBA a lot, spades, shoot, casino, blackjack, whatever it is. I'm, I don't wanna say I'm a big time gambler, but I can play some cards. So I take these everywhere with me from trip to trip. It's nice, relaxing, being able to, you know, compete with your boys, your teammates on the uh, on the plane. And, you know, it gets competitive on there. 52 of these things, man, just teach me a game. I'll learn how to play it. The next essential is uh, watches. Um, definitely starting to get into these. This Rolex right here was my first one. I got eight, nine years ago, and then uh, recently got a couple APs. 
I really like their brand. It's something I've just been getting into. I think it's really uh, it's really cool, man. You be able to dress them up and down. You can wear them with different clothes. You can wear them with sweats, suits, jeans, going out, staying in, whatever it is. So you know, it's crazy. This first one I bought, I I got it, got it in New York. First thing I ever wanted, I wanted it iced out too. And, you know, it's crazy. I transitioned. I want all my stuff plain and, and classy, um, but I do always want to keep this one. Obviously, the feeling of buying your first watch or piece of jewelry is is great, man. You work for it and. Uh, you know, I've, I'm definitely gonna keep this for a long time. Recently, you know, for one of my next essentials would definitely be wine. Got into it a couple years ago with white wine, actually. But I really got into Napa wines. Love some Burgundy, some French and Italian wines as well. But this Heartland Estates is one of my favorite ones in Napa. Looking to take a trip there soon. So always take wine with me on the road um, when we go to dinner. You know, I try to, you know, expand my palate and, and keep, you know, learning with it. Being an NBA, starting at like 19, 18, obviously you don't drink, so you just gotta grow up, you start seeing it. And I just started testing it out, tried it out. I thought it was terrible at first when I was younger and I guess my palate changed, so. For my next essential, I would say video games. I've just brought a PlayStation controller. Got into video games, obviously, growing up and being a basketball player, you do have a decent amount of downtime. So when we're on the road, I bring like a little mini like laptop, plug in the controller. I got a PC at my house, I got PlayStations, but it's definitely something I use as a hobby just to get away from basketball. I'm not good at all games. I play Call of Duty and Destiny the most. Teammates are good, they got high K uh, KDEs, so I go out there and just try to revive people. <laughs> I mean, usually I just jump into solo matches. I couple of my guys on my team play. One of my boys from back home, Blake Snell, who plays with the Padres, is incredible at, at Call of Duty. You, you snipe everybody. I'm just so, sitting here just reviving them, so. Yeah, somebody got to revive. I'll shoot somebody if I can, but you know, I'm just trying to go for the win. <laughs> my next essential, basketball shoes, New Balance. Any types of shoes, obviously. I brought a pair of basketball shoes, but you know, always kept a good pair of shoes. It's up with New Balance now, and you know, love my partnership with them. Come out with great lifestyle shoes. Always had really good walk around shoes, but you know, getting into basketball has been great with them and partnering with them. PE's coming out next year. You know, just be on the lookout, but always keep a great pair of basketball shoes because you know, obviously basketball player, you gotta, you gotta have the right footwear out there. These specific shoes actually haven't even came out yet. I've worn them on the court, yeah. These are the two-way twos. I think the two-way ones have already came out. These were just some ones they sent to me, some all-white ones I wore at the, at, with the home uniforms. I think it's great what New Balance is doing culturally, especially making it very relevant. A lot of guys into fashion myself, you know, being able to dress shoes up and down, wearing them with sweatsuits, jeans, into the game, obviously on court with me, but you know, they're doing something really big and I think they're trending in the right direction and people are really starting to, you know, pay attention. I always loved them and you know I'm glad to be a part of that team. Thank you guys for watching. Zach Levine, GQ, 10 Essentials.